my name is Piranha Sell. I am doing um, the HTML and CSS course at Zebra Robotics, and I have gotten third place in the Python and Java challenge at Hackathon 2020 at Zebra Robotics. Um, so my challenge one is the code deciphering challenge. So first I've created a, um, a dictionary which converts all the spaces, letters, um, you will see punctuation and numbers into a corresponding number value. And then here I've created a reversed version of the dictionary because I'm going to require it later. I have gotten input for the message and password. And I have created a um, list for the message and password that I've in taken as input and converted them to their risk corresponding number value. Here I have the, um, I'm like iterating, creating a for loop and iterating through every single number in the list. And I'm checking that if it's like a letter, like an alphabet, alphabetical character. If it is an alphabetical character, I'm checking um, that if when I subtract the password value, the, the corresponding password value from the original messages number that we currently have, if it's positive, then I directly append it to our final messages list, which is a number list. And But if it's not, then I initially add 26 to the original message, the, the number, and then I subtract the, um, the number value, which is the password value. And I add a one to the password index. And I also check if the passwords index has like, um, if it has reached like, so let's say my password value is key, like K-E-Y. If it has reached Y, then I have to make it, make sure it goes back to X. I mean, um, K. So that's what I'm making sure here. And I'm also constantly checking if it is like, if we have a punctuation number or space, if we do have something like that, then it's just going to be directly appended to the final list. And here it's, I'm reversing it back to the, um, the letter value and returning it as a um, string. Um, for challenge two, which is the, the, the satellite mission. Um, so I hard code the matrix first then I convert all of them into floats because I'm going to need like require it to be like that. Um, so so this matrix is special because it's it's kind of a symmetrical matrix. So all four sides of it are like the same with the corresponding st stage satellite names. And also the diagonal values are all zero. That's yeah. And so what I first do is I first convert all of these zero values to infinity. I like, and then I count because um, it's uh, that's like necessary later on for the project. I also, then I check how many stations I need to visit, which is three, because I'm already at my first station, which is our ship. Then I display that. And currently my total distance is zero. Then um, for the first, when, we, when we're going from our ship to somewhere else, it's a different process than the remaining. So I have a different piece of code for that. For the station, uh, so for the first one, I have, so I'm checking all of them from the first, let me go back here, from the first one to the last, I'm checking, so which one is the least value. So if currently the first one, instead of zero, it's infinity, then nine, two, and 15, so I go to two. And then I get that, so then I store it here in minimum distance. Then I get where, so th there are like many mod, like methods that I'm taking from NumPy, um, which is a great tool for this project. Um, so I'm getting the, in, like the value, like the position value from, for the matrix and storing it into this min minimum distance station index. Then I am getting and turning it into a list. Then I'm checking then after that's done then i'm converting all of the first like the ships row and column to infinity so i make sure that i don't go back there again after we're done um and then we go to the remaining um satellites so that we go to the next satellite which will be i think tatiana yeah and then we go to its row and column and check for the next one 
So that continues on, we store in a previous value, and then we check for the minimum distance again. We find out where the next station's index value is. We go through all of that, the same process basically, and then we convert it again to infinity, the row and column of that um, stations to infinity, and this continues on for the remaining three stations. And every single time I print it, print the distance here, and then I like at the, at the end, I print the total distance that uh, the ship has traveled. My favorite part would be like the part where I had to, where I had to like think about the project because I'm, this is these, both of these were like really good puzzles and I'm a very big fan of puzzles. I love to solve them and I love the part where I had to just put everything away and just had my project and a piece of pen and paper and started like writing down in plain English how I would do this. Um, so this, all both of these challenges had some sort of method or kind of algorithm behind them and I had to figure out what that was and that's kind of my favorite part for the challenge. Zebra, um, I'm doing the HTML and CSS course for coding and the R600 course for robotics. Um, in the robotics, I really like the hands-on training that we get. I do understand that robotics will have to be hands-on because it, it's in the name, it needs a robot, but um, I like that we have, we get like various parts to um, adjust our robot so that it like, what we want it to do is done successfully. Um, so that really kind of helps me get like a better understanding of whatever we're doing or what concepts we're learning. Um, as for the coding part, I like that we get many challenges throughout the course. Um, it helps develop like problem solving skills in my brain and it, it is helpful everywhere else as well. So when I grow up, I want to like pursue a career in computer science. And I know that for, I know that for a fact that it requires some, maybe if not a lot, um, some programming background or knowledge about it. And I think that the conceptual material like functions, methods, classes and objects and what, or, and everything else that I'm learning here is going to be really necessary there. And I also, um, like really like the problem solving skills that I'm learning here at Zebra Robotics. It's really helpful. And I know that we are going to have to solve problems almost everywhere in like our personal lives, um, work life or education, wherever we're like, we always are facing problems and we have to work around them. And I think that's really like something that I'm building on here at Zebra Robotics. <laughs>